prayer to open my spiritual eyes and ears. God deals with us according to the level of our visions. We can see this in Genesis chapter 13 verses 14 to 17, where God told Abraham that he would give to him as much he could see. Let's read Genesis 13 from verses 14 to 17. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that lot was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward, and southward, and eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. The clarity of visions increases our faith and understanding of the Word of God. We also need to hear from God to be able to have faith in Him. The Bible told us in Romans 10:17 that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. But until God opens our spiritual eyes and ears, understanding spiritual things will be difficult. As we pray today, God is going to open your spiritual eyes and ears to see visions and hear Him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description. God bless you. Alright, now, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. Hallow be thy name, Lord. Let thy kingdom come, and let your will be done, as it's been done in heaven. Thank you for the gift of life and everyday needs. Forgive dear Lord our sins and shortcomings, even as we forgive those who offended us. Lead us dear Lord out of troubles and deliver us dear Lord from evils. Cause our eyes to be quick and fast to see the evils ahead even before they come so as to avert or escape them. Open our physical and spiritual ears to be fast to hear and to perceive the sound or the noises of the approaching evils, and by so doing avoid them before they come. Cause our entire system to detest and to hate corruptive words and evil talks and discussions, so that we can abide in your blessings. For your word says in Psalms 1 verse 1 through 3, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Therefore dear Lord, help us to close our eyes and ears to hearing and listening to iniquities and ungodly things. Cause us to hate jesting words that do not edify your words Lord, instead let us delight ourselves in seeing your words fulfilling in us, so that we can continue to enjoy fellowship with you, without the feeling of guilt occasioned by what we have heard or seen. In the name of Jesus. For in your word of Psalms 1 verse 6 says, For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Therefore dear Lord, help us to be committed only to hearing and seeing only those things which you would have us to see and hear, so that we continue abiding and abounding in your blessings and favor. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Dear Lord, cause it to be to us after your word of Isaiah 30 verse 21 that says, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Dear Lord, guide our eyes also not to have pleasure in looking or watching iniquities and abominable things, after the order of Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 13 that says, You are of purer eyes than to behold evil, and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously? and hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he. Therefore, dear Father Lord, I call upon you to open my spiritual eyes to behold thy glory and the wonders of thy hand. For you said in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Father, I hereby call upon you, to answer and show me great and mighty things that I do not know. Grant me access to the wisdom and revelations that will turn my life around. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Grant me access to knowledge and information that will bring me a lifetime breakthroughs. Open my eyes to opportunities that will lead to my financial emaciation and optimum level of health. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open my eyes to unseen and unforeseen dangers so that I can escape them through your guidance and wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open also dear Lord my ear to hear your teachings and instructions on the ways to success, and as I hear you dear Lord, help me to obey and to follow you. For you said in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Dear Father Lord, I consent, teach me to make wealth, live right, judge right, and attune my ears to be in tandem with your instructions and guidance, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lead me through divine instructions and directions to walk in the part of life, righteousness and uprightness into wealth, breakthroughs and all-around successes, in the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray with you. Everlasting Father King of Glory, thank you for the life of my listeners. Dear Father Lord, behold, they desire to be led by you. Therefore dear Lord, I ask that you clean their eyes to begin to see beyond the physical as you may deem it necessary and expedient. Cause them to henceforth begin to see the opportunities as you have provided for your children O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remove every scale that might have been blurring their visions, so that they may begin to see clearer your wonderful acts and works so as to be able to give you the glory that is deserving. In the name of Jesus. Give them a second touch that will result in a clearer vision, so that they will be able to make discredit and informed decisions, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cause them to always be at alert and sensitive to recognize your direction and leading O Lord. Terminate every form of spiritual blindness in the life of every listener. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, open also their spiritual ears to begin to hear from you. Lord. Let the era of spiritual dumbness be over in their life. As they hear O Lord, give them also the doing ability, so that they won't be hearers only but also the doers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fortify them with the grace to be passionate and zealous to act promptly whenever they see or hear as you may prompt them O Lord. Let their sight, hearing and visions always be clear and accurate, devoid of errors and guessworks, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, all these I ask of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.